get through. But uh, fortunately, there wasn't too much of that kind of problem. Mm -hmm. But you, but you were also mainly there to watch the um, the Russians' uh, movement. That was across. the purpose of the base itself. But my job mainly was as judge advocate to advise the base commander on any problems that came up that he thought required a legal answer. Mm -hmm. And uh, occasionally there were some questions came up. I know we had a fire at one of our warehouses on the base. We all had to go out and help unload the contents of the warehouse by hand. So there would be uh, a line of men, including me, we'd hand take out the contents of the warehouse, pass it along the line. It turned out to be a liquor warehouse, that particular one. And the question came up on whether we could file a claim for insurance against the uh, company that actually owned the warehouse. And there was some reasons why they thought they couldn't because the Air Force was in control. But I advised them to file it anyway, a claim. And fortunately, the insurance company agreed to some reimbursement to the Air Force for the fire loss. There was some damage, some lost liquor, <laughs> and they were able to recover some compensation for that. Yeah, you know, that's why I, I think my advice may have helped. Oh. <laughs> you know, but we also had to give the men, during normal times, the men on the base, we advised their wills and legal problems that came up between them and their families, and also advised them on claim problems they had, their families had. Also, questions came up on military affairs. They'd wonder uh, what their status was in the military. These men were mostly enlisted men. They wanted to know how much longer they had to serve and what they were entitled to in medical benefits and through the VA and so forth. We tried to help them with that. Oh. So this was all the time. This all was the it time. during that one year that you yes. were on Greenland. Yes. Greenland, and, mm -hmm. and it sounds like it was a very, very interesting and a varied uh, busy way. Okay. <laughs> very busy. Yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, we we had a close bond, a bonding with the men, our associates, and and the ones who weren't who were just serving on the base. Mm -hmm. We had some entertainment sometimes visiting from the states, the USO tour or some entertainment people from the media would come by, uh, some from movies would stop, would be dropped off to stay overnight and entertain us. So that was a little relaxation, mm -hmm. but mostly we had to dress up very much in our parkas and our uh, snow boots, our uh, special um, parkas and hats and gloves that we had to protect us from the weather. That took some time. Now the, the climate did vary a little. Did you have, how many months of uh, well, winter did you have? Mostly it was the wintertime uh, aspect, about eight months, and four months may have been so-called spring and summer. Mm -hmm. But we also had a eclipse of the sun while I was there, which was interesting. We also had the aurora borealis, mm -hmm. the red and green lights mm -hmm. in the heavens caused by these. Pardon? You could watch that. We could see that at night, uh -huh. uh, shimmering, uh, green and blue and red, and sort of yellow, 